what is up YouTube how you guys doing today doing pretty well here thank you for asking so today I have another movie review amazing isn't it yes I do have my handy dandy trusty notes as I am not a professional as I have mentioned before I'm not gonna remember all these things I'm far too busy uh, it's not that I'm busy I'm just not gonna remember all this so let's start this movie is called Nightmare Castle <laughs> Sorry, it came out in 1965. I'm going to try to get through the cast. My God, I'm only going to say three names, and I'm going to have some problems with them. Barbara Steele as Muriel Aerosmith. Paul Mueller as Dr. Stephen Aerosmith. Rick Battaglia whatever, as David. Okay, so I didn't do too bad. That's just the three main characters. There's more people. We don't got to get into all that. The story goes. Dr. Aerosmith. We're not talking Steven Tyler and all of them. It's a different Aerosmith. Dr. Aerosmith finds his wife cheating on him with David. No last name. Just David. He beats them. Captures them. Torches them a little bit, kills them, cuts their hearts out of their bodies. Now Muriel and David come back from the dead to seek revenge. Oh! Oh, no revenge. Sorry. My thoughts and opinions on this movie. Let's do this. My first thought is, this movie looks like it's more from the 30s and 40s than it does the 60s. And I don't know if they have the date wrong or something. I looked it up online as well. It says 1965, but it looks really old for 1965. I mean, it's black and white. I don't know if I'm just watching a bad copy of it, but it looks 20 years before that. So, anywho, that doesn't bother me. I love the overacting people did in old Hollywood. You know how they do. Oh, from Scotland. Oh, oh. Yeah, I'm going to keep that in the video. Anyway, the looks, the movements, the close-ups of the faces. Movies were so different back then, and I've really learned to appreciate them uh, more than I used to never been a fan of old movies I've, I've always said that I just don't like old movies blah, 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 but I'm getting to where I kind of like them sometimes so interesting uh, I do feel the music score is great and really fits the mu the movie uh, and the movements and the moments and and all through it I noticed myself kind of playing along with it every time it would get to those really dramatic ah, you know and the music's all there and you're just yeah I found myself uh, really noticing that uh, you also get some really cool heartbeat sounds <laughs> in there as well you'll see it's oh so creepy Let's flip this here page over I really don't like to say too much in my reviews uh, because to me then it becomes more of a spoiler review uh, so it's hard for me to draw the line on what to say and how much to say and this that and the other so keep that in mind with my reviews my reviews are just kind of eh. you know I don't, I don't want to give too much away otherwise you're like oh okay well we don't have to watch that so really the movie is done quite well I like how older movies uh, really have to rely on a good story, 
very little of any kind of special effects of uh, being practical uh, effects and what have you um of course some do it well and some do not as normal as of any movie then or today um so does the doctor and his new lover make it out alive or do the ghost of his slain victims get their revenge I don't know. I can't tell you that. Or I'd have to kill you. Then you'd try to get revenge on me. And well, there we go. Uh, you'll have to watch and see. The movie delivers on musical score. Camera work. Uh, set design. The tension. The acting. Huh? 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 something new movies could learn from um that's really all the review i'm going to give you i just like i said it's hard for me to draw that line of how much to say and uh you know as far as characters and all that go and uh, and sitting here and watching the movie and it goes by just fine and i don't find myself looking at the clock and uh that's you know that's about all you can ask for sometimes uh so uh, I'm getting to where I really enjoy some of these old black and white movies, so that's really kind of where I'm at. Um, you'll notice in my reviews, I review a lot of stuff that nobody else is going to review, or if they have, it's been some time ago, and and not very many reviews out there of it, probably. So, anyway, having said that, I give Nightmare Castle a solid... Hmm, three out of five. And that's where I'm going to leave it. Guys, thanks for watching. Please subscribe, like, comment, share, all that good stuff. I do all this for free. I enjoy it. It gives me something to do and something to share with other people. Even just the few people that might watch. Um, no monetization. No ads. None of that that I'm aware of. So guys, don't forget to get up, get out, get red, and do it to it. <sighs> Even when doing a movie review. We'll see you guys later. Go watch that movie.